Well, if you thought things had to get better for the Milwaukee Bucks after the game one loss to Brooklyn, think again. The Nets, who never lost the lead in the last 32 minutes of game one, didn't trail for a second in game two, up by as many as 49, and all without James Harden, sidelined with right hamstring tightness. It's the Bucks who are hamstrung in this series well. to this point as uh, Giannis looks for the equalizer against KD. Blake Griffin had such great energy in game one. Oh. And he had it again in game two. Oh, oh double cross on him. Oh. Man, what the hell is up with the Milwaukee Bucks? Yeah, today was um, worse than the last game. Oh, yeah. by far. And I, I thought they would be prepared without to play without. It's a hell of in and out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Great block. block. I thought they'd be more prepared to know that they, James Harden's not playing and they could have a chance to really even up the series and take the home court advantage. But stop on a dime. That was, that, that, you know, that was embarrassing tonight. I'm not going to lie. Durant end of the quarter. It's hard to lose a game, be down by 50 points in any game. No, no, it's hard to be 49. Eight, no, dude, it's hard to be down 49 points. In a, in a playoff game? In a playoff, playoff game. Stop it, Shaq. But I'm saying, if you're going to shoot 29 percent. It don't care if you shoot zero percent. You should finish. be down 50. Woo, look at Blake. 29 percent from the three. Keep that is him up. You ain't going to be down 40. You shoot 29 percent. You should be down 20. Yeah, not 50. Not Come 50. on, man. Stop. KD. I mean, it, it, 50 points, Shaq? Come on, Shaq. It's hard to be down 49. 50. KD again. 50, man. Bro, 49. You, know, again, you miss all them threes. We out on that break. Yeah, yeah. We out on that break. And guess yeah. what we yeah, should from three? 21, but Shaq, 42, 50 points. Shaq, 49 a lot, man. <laughs> Come on, that's a lot of points, man, that's in a, a playoff lot. game. But I'm just telling you how you get there. Uh, oh, wow, man. That's man. No more. Chuck, no. Chuck, you've been down by 49. Not in the playoff game. No, no, underdog, no. look it up. Hell not in the playoff Look it up, underdog. Hell no. Hell look no. Look it up, underdog. Hell it's hell worse. Let me tell you something. If I was down 50, I'm in the locker room with two flagrants and two tees. <laughs> not in the playoff game. Come on, Shaq. 125 up, to 86 the final. Nets have won eight in a row at home and 11 out of 12 overall. Milwaukee, just the fifth time this season, they did not score 100 points. In fact, it was their season low with 86 and their first wire-to-wire -wire loss of the season. You know what I need here? A little post-game yakety yak! Talk to me, Jet. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yakety yak. The loss sucks. The, the, the loss sucks. Um, it's, it's very frustrating um, to lose like that or, shoot, to even lose at all. Um, we feel like we're better than what we're playing, and we know that, but at this point, um, we can't really be down, and we, we got to stay positive. What I get about this, getting the plane, you know, just uh, focusing on what we got to do, um, execute our game plan better in the next game, and uh, hopefully we can put ourselves in a position to win. That's it. Can we focus? You cannot focus in uh, the past or the future. You got to always be in the moment. I feel like that's every team's mentality if you uh, got home court. Um, we know how important game threes are. And uh, we know that their crowd is going to be in it from the second we get on the floor for warm-ups. And we know their guys play more, they play better and more comfortable when they're in there, sleep in their own beds and got the you know, same routines. We just want to come in and just break their rhythm a little bit, understand that the, you know, runs are going to happen. They're on their home floor. You know, the, those guys are looking for a response game. Uh, and, and we just got to be prepared. That is, it's simple. You know. The fans aren't going to come on the court and block anybody's shots or, or do anything, um, but they're going to be loud, and uh, that makes a difference in our communication. So we just got to make sure doing those little things. All right. So um, I'd, I'm trying to gauge what Milwaukee's mindset will be when you've got the hype that goes into this series, and this is supposed to be this dynamite conference semifinal. As you said earlier, might still be. Yeah, but, but uh, you but asked when, me at halftime. When you get it handed to they, you like this. They panicked tonight. They, they were taking bad shots. There was no body movement. You look at the difference. Brooklyn, they were passing the ball three or four times. Milwaukee was coming down, taking the first. They just totally panicked tonight. Now, we thought this was going to be a great series, and it still might be. But I saw panic in their eyes tonight. And they're going to have to help. I have to think it's time, hey, yo, guys. Let's get together tomorrow. We're not going to practice. We're going to talk. Because we, 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 they haven't been ready to play at either game. 
Are you saying you, you kind of saw a deer in the headlights look from? Uh, the, uh, a you deer, saw a deer, because uh, Kenny was showing, uh, Kenny was showing the plays at halftime and the difference. <laughs> that was funny though, Ernie. Yeah. But uh, that, that ass kicking <clears throat> wasn't funny. Yeah, no. I, I, would, I would agree with Chuck on this, Ernie. I, I think that the one thing that you noticed was, again, like you said, the deer in the headlight. But as a coaching staff or a management staff, the one thing that you would say is like, you got to lose yourself in the game defensively. Like, once you lose it itself and defensively, offense will come. It seemed like they were trying to outshoot them into winning the game. No, if you don't slow Brooklyn down, they could shoot better than you. They have, actually, I do think they have better shooters across the board. Between and starting with Kyrie, Kyrie's probably the, you know his greatest skill as he has on the basketball. His most underrated skill is his shooting ability. You know, this guy shoots the basketball with the same clip as not as deep but the same clip as Steph Curry and, and Dame Lillard. He shoots it that well. So you have to tend to defense first against the net. We always know what KD does. So they have two of the best, I'd say, top ten shooters in the world on the same team. And then you put Joe Harris in there, who's won a three-point contest. You put Shamit in there. You put now Mike James in there. And if James <laughs> Harden ever comes back, they have three of the top ten scorers in the world. So you have to play defense first before you try to outscore them. Chuck, you're rustling through box scores over there. What are you looking for? I'm looking at, okay, Kevin Durant scored 32 and Kyrie scored 22. But Joe Harris, Bruce, Bruce Brown, Mike Thir James. 13 each. These are like, they, they, to give up 125 points to really, with two guys who are terrific offensive players, those guys only scored 55, Ernie. Milwaukee has two problems. One, their energy wasn't there. And two, just like in game one, you settle. You live by the jump shot, you die by the jump shot. Those shots might fall at home, but we're not going to focus on that. What we need to focus on in game one, we beat them up inside. We beat them on a defensive, of, of, you know, rebounds. Them. Let's just take them to the hole. Let's take them to the hole every time, and then if we have a shot, we shoot. They're coming down the first option shooting. And then again, if you're shooting eight for tw 27 and the other team shooting 40, uh, uh, 21 out of 42, 50 percent, you're going to lose by 20 or more. Tonight it was 40 something. So if they bring a little bit more energy and stop settling for the three ball and beat them up inside and then come back out inside out, inside out, still, you know, still wins championships. You know, the last couple of years, you, you know, you got a couple of teams that won. No, no, no. The Lakers won inside out. Anthony Davis yeah, that's was inside. What I'm so, you know, you got to go. He punished you know, people. So, you know, you got to go to inside out. So, if, if they can do that and stop selling, they'll have a chance. But they got to come with that energy, Ernie. Yeah, they averaged, the Bucks averaged 14 threes made per game in the regular season. They have hit 14 in the first two games total, 14 out of 57. 25% and they are in a 2 nothing hole. But going back to Milwaukee, where they have won 10 in <laughs> That's a row. That's my man from Chicago Fire right there. Okay. Yeah, I love that show. All right, Chicago thank you. Fire. We, I appreciate it. I appreciate the golf clap. Thank you very much. It was only, yeah, I, I'm trying to tell you it was only 49. <laughs> you know, Ernie, quit saying they were down 50. 49. <laughs>